In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Graz. At number one, we have the Murin Cell. This fascinating glass dome floats on the Mur River, connected by two bridge walkways. Inside, you'll find a cafe and a children's play area, making it a perfect spot to relax and enjoy the river views. At number two, we have the Kunsthaus Graz. Known as the Friendly Alien, this modern art museum is a stark contrast to the traditional architecture of Graz. Its collection features art from the 1960s onwards, and the building itself is a marvel of contemporary design. At number three, we have the Landhaus Courtyard. This Renaissance-style building houses the Styrian Parliament, but is open to the public. The arched courtyard inside is a hidden gem, reminiscent of a Roman temple, complete with a tiled roof and clock tower. At number four, we have the Styrian Armory. This museum holds the world's largest collection of arms and armor, boasting over 30,000 items. Even if you're not into military history, the sheer scale of the collection is awe-inspiring. At number five, we have the Graz Cathedral. This Gothic structure is a blend of architectural styles, featuring high vaulted arches and Baroque furnishings. It's a serene place to explore, located near other key attractions like the Styrian Armory and Main Square. At number six, we have the Franciscan Church. Originally constructed as a defensive tower, this church now has a modern interior that contrasts with its historical exterior. The area around the church is bustling with cafes and eateries, making it a lively spot to visit. At number seven, we have the Adventure Park Graz. Located on the outskirts of the city, this park offers a variety of outdoor activities activities like rope climbing, log sawing, and high ropes. It's a great way to take a break from traditional sightseeing. At number eight, we have the Mausoleum of Ferdinand II. This grand structure is a testament to the power of Ferdinand II, featuring decadent architecture and intricate designs. Inside, you'll find sculptures, paintings, and the sarcophagus of the emperor's parents. At number nine, we have the Maria Trost Basilica. This pilgrimage site is located about 20 minutes from the city center and is known for its Baroque design and pale yellow facade. The shrine to the Virgin Mary inside is particularly noteworthy. At number 10, we have the Hertz Jesu Kirche. This neo-Gothic church features a contrasting orange and white color scheme and houses Austria's third tallest bell tower. The interior is lavishly decorated, including a stunning circular stained glass window. At number 11, we have the Rathausen Square. The Rathaus, or town hall, is a neoclassical building that anchors Graz's main square. The square itself is a bustling hub, filled with market stalls and surrounded by charming buildings. At number 12, we have the Graz Botanical Garden. Gardens. These gardens feature armadillo-shaped greenhouses and a variety of plants from different climate zones. It's a free attraction, making it ideal for budget travelers. At number 13, we have the Eggenberg Palace. This palace is a symbol of Styria's historical influence, surrounded by beautiful gardens. Inside, you'll find highly decorated state rooms and a fascinating planetary room full of frescoes. At number 14, we have the Schlossberg Clock Tower. Standing atop Schlossberg Hill, this tower has become a symbol of grass. Its unique feature is the reversed minute and hour hands on the clock, which can be quite confusing but intriguing. At number 15, we have the Schlossberg. This tree-covered hill was once a fortress and now serves as a public park. It offers panoramic views of the city and features an iconic clock tower, making it a must-visit spot in Graz. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Graz. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.